Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at ILUS International, ticket symbol ILUS. ILUS is right now sitting at 0 0.4390. We have called out ILUS multiple times for swing trade and for investment opportunities. Some of the swing trade opportunities, firstly, was on the 50 MA. We looked at, at this particular price level of 0 0.2570. One of the recent ones was at 0 0.3. Zero. So if you manage to bolt at that level and took it for a swing trade, you'll be up around 42% for a swing trade opportunity. Or obviously, if you took it out at a higher profit, you know, you're looking at 64% depending on where you took your profit out. And these calls are always on the channel. They are free. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and keep up to date to the videos. And as always, guys, we're going to be talking about the long term investment opportunities for Eyeless and also the technical analysis towards the end for any swing trade opportunities. Show support for Eyeless by smashing that like button down below. This is not financial advice. Do take a while to stay correct. So make sure you do your own due diligence and research. And without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So as always, we're going to talk about the investment opportunities. Then later on, we're going to get on the technical analysis. So make sure you stick towards the end. Now, this is a video. It's called the ILS CEO NASDAQ update. And essentially in this video, what he talks about is to cover multiple things. You guys can see it's a 47 minute video and he talks about multiple things. Now, one of the things he talks about is the, uh, the NASDAQ update, essentially being uplisted on the NASDAQ. Now, why is this huge? Firstly, their goal and the objective right now is to be listed on the NASDAQ. Now, how are they doing this? Well, they're doing this by doing whatever they can to actually grow the company, not the share price. The reason why I say this is because here are the requirements to be listed on the NASDAQ exchange. Now, you are looking at multiple uh, requirements. Obviously, it has to be multiple requirements. One of the requirements here is $3 minimum bid of the company stock. Now, NASA can do things where it just, you know, manufacturally kind of um, manually pump the stock price up to $3 because that is one of the requirements. And that is obviously very bad because if that means if they are listed in NASDAQ and it's found out they're not actually valued at a $3 stock, obviously we'll see the stock price tank and there won't be any long-term investment opportunity in, NAS in, in ILUS. But ILUS is a company that focuses on the company itself and it lets that reflect the price and the share of the company. So reaching at 0.4390, I don't see any artificial kind of pricing for Eilers. I really think that this is because their company is operating well and essentially people want to invest into Eilers. And so what we are looking at right now is Eilers to be a company to be at least worth $3 per share, like we talk about $3 minimum bid price. So if you're buying at 0 0.4390, you're looking at around 5 to 6x investment if it were to be at three dollars now obviously the lower the price the more you will make and you know the bigger the percentage of profit you will make now some people might be wondering now are we going to be looking at you know isp at a very low price anytime soon well the answer to that is yes but it's going to be very hard to see a very low price again one of the biggest support level right now for eyeless is at 0 0.2570 this is not actually the technical analysis this is just you know again for the long-term investment Essentially, we haven't seen the bull run yet for the OTC market. And so I really doubt that Eyeless will have its price sticking at 0 0.4390 for any time longer. I do feel like we are going to be seeing the run very soon. Maybe the run might not take Eyeless to be the $3 stock, but it definitely will take Eyeless to be at a higher price. And when we do see that, even when a correction happens, you know, we are only likely to look at the correction, come back to this level of 0 0.4249 to 0 0.4390 or, you know, at the lowest around this 50 MA right now, sitting at, you know, this particular level of 0.3879. Looking at 0 0.2570 is very hard because firstly, we have the support level that it's bouncing on right now and it's actually supporting very well. We also have the 50 MA where again, it's acting as a very strong support. And then lastly, you know, we are having looking at a lot of supports in the place. And so it's going to be very hard to reach 0 0.2570. So for those of the ones who obviously want to look at considering, you know, considering potentially we could see a 0 0.3111, but 0 0.2570 is going to be very hard. Now back to the long-term investment. Essentially, if you buy in now, again, this is not financial advice, but if you buy in now, you're looking at the start of an early company you know i'm sure there are multiple companies where you've looked at now and you you're wondering and you're saying damn i should have bought this you know when it was at x price i should have bought this i would have made 10x 20x 30x uh, eyeless could be proven to be one of those companies because firstly again 
three dollars minimum price if they were to reach three dollar minimum so right now we can just even show this on trading view so at its current price right now if we go to three dollars which is around here we're looking at 593.41 percent return that is not where eyeless is going to stop if eyeless get listed on the nasdaq they're looking at more capital being invested into eyeless because they will be looking at more investors all around some people stay away from otc stocks um just because you know of the volatility but they are more willing to invest on stocks out on the nasdaq and so we are looking at more investment we're going to be looking at more hedge funds more firms buy into eyeless and i highly doubt three dollars will be the ending for eyeless you know we are looking at potentially in four five six seven eight and as they grow bigger and bigger you know they are going to be worth more and more so essentially you're looking at a huge opportunity now all of this is speculation that's why i strongly recommend you to also watch this particular video if you really want to un understand what eyeless do what they are they going to do in the future as well so why would they be a company that should be listed on the nasdaq that is very important and again you know there's a lot of things to cover now obviously you don't have to watch that video that's why these videos are here. So let's talk about what some of the things that Eilis are doing for those of you who want to know. So here is a pretty much a rundown of Eilis. Now they are a company, again, that is focused on acquisition as well. And so following the announcement that the third quarter was Eilis strongest yet in terms of revenue achieved and acquisition progress, the company confirmed that it's firmly on track and hard at work to exceed its 2021 annual revenue target. This, again, is another factor that will help boost Eilis' share price up. In addition to free acquisitions closed in the first and second quarters of 2021, Eilis agreed and signed pre-contract agreements with three US companies in the third quarter and confirmed that it's in the process of adding several very exciting acquisitions during the fourth quarter. Now, again, you know, this is something that is also a catalyst that's going to help them grow. Why is Eyeless great? Well, one of their strategies is merger and acquisitions. Essentially, they acquire companies. Now, what do they acquire these companies for? For two things. Firstly, they acquire these companies to help Eyeless itself. They are not just acquiring random companies. They are acquiring companies that help with the manufacture, with the production of Eyeless itself. So they are actually doing this to help Eyeless grow. The second thing, they are acquiring companies that are already operating on its individual and they are growing these companies. So essentially they're killing two birds with one stone here by acquiring these companies. That is why Eyeless are seeing the growth that they are seeing now. You know, we talked about Eyeless around 0 0.1856. So looking at that to where it is now, you're already looking at 139.82%, not to talk about how high it's gonna go in the future. You know, again, they're doing multiple things recently, agreed and signed pre-contract terms for the acquisition of a large group of four companies in the United Kingdom and again we've talked about this on as well we cover these on the channel so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you never miss out a video if you are an Eyeless supporter and investor and if up until right now you have enjoyed the video or found it useful make sure to also hit that like button as well so there are many factors and catalysts which says that Eyeless is a company that is going to operate well. And again, we are looking closely to the acquisition because that is one of the things, if not one of the biggest things that is helping Eyeless grow. Now, you know, some of the key factors here is that, again, they are hard at work to exceed this 2021 annual revenue target. So that is big. If a company is you know, on track to do this, if a company can do this, then this is the company that is obviously showing that they have good growth in the future. And they are showing growth right now already, which is gonna attract a lot of investors. Now, finally, onto the technical analysis and for a swing trade opportunity. You know, we've gone briefly over the, some of the technical analysis with some of the levels. Looking at Eyeless now, first we talked about how the 50 MA was obviously a good level to buy at when we saw the price dropping, because 50 MA always acts as a support, especially when we have a level right here. Now, if you manage to buy in at the 50 MA, you know, you're looking at 18% current swing trade right now, obviously that high of 24%. But the another level we're looking at right now, is so you guys can see the 0 0.0249 to 0 0.439, um, 0 0.2, 0 0.4001 to 0 0.4249. This is a supply, you know, uh, more of a supply level is more of a support zone. And we are seeing the price action, as you guys can see on this particular day, when we saw the price dropping below, a lot of people bought eyeless back 
up and we see it break out instantly in the very next state. So it shows that there are a lot of convicted buyers at this level, which again highlights and gives a signal that this could be the next potential swing trade opportunity. Now, obviously this level is here. If you guys trade the way I do, you already would have set a buy order. Unfortunately, I did miss out. I've been quite busy recently. Um, but, you know, this is obviously a very nice level. We could be potentially looking at another pullback tomorrow where if you are feeling that, obviously buy. Um, again, do take it while I say with So, you know, anyway, in between this level is a good level for a swing trade. Now, in terms of a um, pullback, you know, we saw it, how strongly it kind of um, rejected this 50 MA. So we may not looking be may not be looking at a pullback anytime soon unless the price kind of goes around to this level again where you know where this is the level where you see a lot of selling this is the level we see a lot of rejecting so that's when you should be expecting a pullback so if you manage to buy in even at this level you know you're looking at 10 to you know 20 percent swing trade opportunity but yeah guys that's it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below comment down below what you guys think about items and comment down below what you guys want to see next on that enjoy your day